Ken Kreitzer, we're at the Veterans Career Networking Program today in Rye, sponsored by the Westchester Bank, and I have a chance to talk with an Army veteran, and that is Ray Ann Pay, who is uh, joined, uh, came, uh, had a unique experience joining the U.S. Army, and uh, has moved on to a Wall Street career. Uh, but it wasn't easy. Now, Ray Ann, possibly to start with telling us about your experience joining the Army. Uh, well, actually. I joined the Army uh, in 2005. I went on active duty. Uh, before that, I had been in ROTC in Kentucky, uh, School Moorhead State. I was, um, when I was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the intelligence, military intelligence corps, and first duty station was Fort Bragg, North Carolina with 82nd Airborne. I did a deployment with them to Iraq that was during the surge, 15-month deployment there, and it was a, uh, I went to Afghanistan, 12-month deployment with 101st. Uh, experience was phenomenal. I developed, uh, you know, amazing relationships, mentors, and uh, skill set, but um, was dual military, and my husband and I both decided to get out. We felt like we had accomplished a lot of what we had wanted to do, and we still had uh, ambitions on the outside, and so we decided to get out together. That was 2012. And what were some of the challenges you faced uh joining the Army, uh, you had a college background, you had an officer's background, but you still found it challenging to find a position uh, when you left the military. I think that, that you know, I'm not the only veteran who's, who's gone through this, obviously, and, and what face, a lot of veterans face are the challenges of translating the resume, uh, not knowing what they don't know, and frankly, the employer not knowing what they don't know, and so it's difficult to kind of bridge that gap there. So, I was um, looking to explore options, but also being able to sell myself and uh, sell it in a way that would, you know, land me that job with the level of experience, the level of responsibility that I was used to in the military, and maybe even the compensation that I was uh, used to in the military. And that was a very difficult realization to come to, that um, it wouldn't be quite as easy as I thought it would be. But you were successful in joining the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, how did that happen? I was a member of a veteran service organization in New York City who made uh, available to me this workshop that the New York Stock Exchange was sponsoring. And uh, I attended a day-long workshop. There was resume building. There were uh, mock interviews, negotiation. Uh, I went through that, and I met someone who worked in HR for the Stock Exchange. And she fortunately had done her due diligence personally to understand a veteran's resume and to try to be able to translate it herself for her company, and she recognized, she asked me what I wanted to do, and she saw a positioning, a position opening within the exchange for, as a board event manager, and uh, the two of us in talking, she was able to see how the, the skill set of uh, briefing high-level leadership, um, decision-making, being able to work on minute details, but, uh, you know, execute flawless operations, and that was really what I needed to do to bring a board of directors together for their meetings on different continents. And so uh, she recognized that I was interested, and it got my foot in the door and allowed me to develop some, a, a different skill set, a different capacity in corporate America. And so I've been with the exchange a year now. Uh, I've only been out of the military in just uh, since 2012. And so it's been a phenomenal experience to get to. I've learned a lot. I've met a lot of people and developed other relationships outside the military that, uh, that it, it's, it's made it a very rewarding experience getting out. I understand that a lot of veterans face, um, you know, a longer time between getting off of active duty or getting out of the service and having that first job. And so since people have been willing to offer resources to me, I'd like to turn around and, um, and help educate both the employer and the veterans. So I'm really passionate about that now. But I've, I've, other people have contributed to my success. And certainly a lot of differences working in the military and the Army and uh, then working in a, in a corporate environment, even as fast-paced as the New York Stock Exchange. What are some of the differences that, uh, that you've uh, had to get used to? Uh, a very obvious difference, maybe not so obvious to the employer, but I think that most veterans can attest to this. Uh, for my first job interview, I was wearing my hair back in a bun, a very tight bun that was comfortable to me because I'd been that way for the last seven years. Uh, no earrings. I was not very comfortable with standing out in terms of having a non-uniform uh, look, 
And over the last year, I've been able to wear my hair down. I wear it down almost every single day now. Those are really tiny differences, but they matter because it matters the way a veteran carries themselves when they feel that they're standing out or, um, you know, just out of uniform. It, it feels odd at first. And so that was a, the immediate difference. Other areas I've noticed that are different, um, I think it's the, the sense of camaraderie, uh, using your physical, uh, six, not necessarily success, but if you can meet a physical standard in the military, that gives you credibility. Whereas in the civilian workforce, that's not necessarily one of the factors that an employer would consider for you to get the job. And so that's something you have to take a step back. I had to take a step back and reevaluate what I needed to do to, um, to kind of fit in. And while still recognizing that my service was very valuable and it offered, you know, incredible skill set, but maybe I need to change my attitude and the way that I approach a civilian workforce. And Ray Ann Pei, thank you so much for your service to our country in the United States Army. Congratulations on, uh, on finding your way to an important position on Wall Street, and uh, uh, we'll look forward to following your career. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio.